Hey guys, Mason Jewel here, and today I'll be showing you the Shaw and Poppy Cyclone Boys Mega Mix. And I'm about to go on a vacation out of the country, and we're gonna go on a plane, so I might do some of that stuff. And so this is the Mega Mix. It has 12 sides. And what I like about this one is that it's stickerless, and it has like these these things right here. I'm not sure what they even are for. I'm not, I'm not sure if they're for design or not. But for me, I use them as grips, like because my fingers fit in them. Like I put my thumb here, my pointer finger here, my um my my middle finger and my ring finger on one piece right here, and then my pinky on this last piece right here. See? And you don't even need any lube for this. It's so smooth and it's like really quiet. And it's a lot like solving a Rubik's Cube. Because, for example, to start off with solving... I mean, I might do a video on how to solve this, but, like... The reason why um, I brought this here was because... It's kind of like solving um, a Mega Minx. That might shock some of you guys, mostly because this thing is... Um, look at the size. Com I mean, it's not that much bigger, but look at the piece comparison. Like, this is a 3x3, three three, while this is a 3x3 three three Mega Minx. Both sides, you know. Um, so, see, for the Mega Minx, you start off with uh, a star with um, each edge piece, like, you know, oriented with its right center. And so, with the 3x3, three three, it's kind of the same thing. This is not a how to solve video. This is not. I'm just showing you, like, what I might show in my video. And you just do all that other stuff, you know. So, yeah, so the me this Mega Minx, you should totally get it. You should totally get it. It's, um, I'm not sure how much it costs, but it's going to be worth it once you get it. Yeah. yeah. The colors are, like, orange, light blue, yellow, light green, dark green, pink, dark blue, red, uh, dark green. Wait, I'm not sure if I said that right now. Purple, all these other stuff. Yeah. The last layer is actually um really um easy to do. I mean, it's kind of one of the hardest things. So I recommend once you get home, try to um look up some algorithms to solve the last layer. Cause the for I mean you could put. You could also put algorithms for like the whole cube, but for me it's the last layer because for the um these for the um the six sides right here that you have to get solved first and half of these for the last so you could get room for the last layer. You don't need you don't, I only use one algorithm for that and it's F uh I can't really say Okay. Okay, guys, uh, that was it for this video. I'll see you next time. Might, you might see Stonehenge or whatever. <laughs> Bye.